Smart Care. Sustainable health for the future. Millions of people suffer from pain in their joints and muscles. That's the case of Esperanza Bass, who was recently signed off work for recurrent back problems. But here at her home in Alicante, Spain, she's taking part in a project to help people find sustainable solutions and return to work faster. Esperanza, tell me about your back pains. How did that start? Well, it goes back at least 15 years when I started work. I've always worked in the food business. I'm a butcher. So my work always brought risk, lifting loads all the time, always the same posture. This is a really serious problem because when you have a muscle contraction or a slip disc or whatever, you're completely wiped out by it. Esperanza is not alone in having these kinds of problems with joints or muscles, nerves and tendons. Let's have a look at some figures. If we look at Europe as a whole, MSDs or musculoskeletal disorders account for 27% of years lived with disability. And the cost to the economy of workers with MSDs is estimated at 240 billion euros per year. That burden could be reduced if people get the right care early. Here at Alicante Hospital, rheumatologist Dr. Jose Antonio Bernal heads a project to give patients specialist advice as soon as they're on sick leave. Inspección nos manda unos listados. The work inspection agency sends us the list with all the cases of people signed off with musculoskeletal problems from the previous week. Then I filter the list and search for those that are really musculoskeletal problems and the patients that could benefit from an intervention from our side. We call them, and if they agree, then we have the consultation. Some of the first research into the subject was done in Madrid. We're here in the Spanish capital to meet Dr. Juan Jover, a great proponent of early intervention and the concept that prevention is better than cure. It's very important the concept of pronto, early. It's very important. The early part of the concept is really important. We've seen that if a worker on sick leave is dealt with in the first week, the results are much better than if we'd waited two weeks, for example. So, if acting early helps patients and saves money, why isn't it widespread practice? The problem is that the issue of disability from work involves a lot of people. It involves the health system. It involves the employers and the workers and the social security system too. So, in a way, you have to be in contact with lots of actors who do actually interact in the real world, but who do not work in a coordinated way. They work in separate ways. Sick leave when someone can't do the work is a really serious problem because if you don't intervene quickly, then some of those people can develop permanent disability and never go back to work again in their lives. Back in Alicante and during Dr. Bernal's half-hour consultation, he offers advice on the right posture for work and rest and helps Esperanza understand how she can help herself to avoid having back pain ever again. I've thought about it a lot and I'm going to change that in my life. In fact, I'm changing it already. I'm doing a Pilates class, swimming, and above all, I'm working to strengthen my back so I don't have to go back through all that pain. Esperanza has now returned to work while Alicante Hospital continues its early intervention project. Smart Care in partnership with AbbVie.